Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Section 9, 10 and 11 of the Bonded Labor System Abolition Act 1992. Section 9 relates with implementation of the Act. Section 9, subsection 1 says the government may by notification authorize any officer in a district to exercise such powers and perform such duties as may be necessary for the effective implementation of the Act. Section 9, subsection 2. The authorized officer may further designate any officer subordinate to him to perform such of his functions and duties as may be delegated to him and specify the local limits for the purpose. Now let's discuss section 10. Section 10 deals with duties of the authorized officer. So my dear students, jo authorized officer hai, uski kya duties hai? Section 9 mein, jo appointment hai, authorized officer ki wo deal ki gai hai. Section 10 mein uski duties ke baare mein bataya ja raha hai. Kaha ye ja raha hai ke, the authorized officer shall, as far as practicable, take necessary measures to promote the welfare of the persons freed from bonded or forced labor by securing and protecting the economic interests of such persons. Section 10, subsection 2. The designated officer shall inquire whether any ongoing bonded labor system or any other form of forced labor is being continued by or on behalf of any person who is resident within the local limits of his jurisdiction and if as a result of such inquiry any person is found to be continuing the bonded labor system or any other system of forced labor he shall forthwith submit the matter to the authorized officer for such action as may be necessary under the Act, my dear students. Next provision jo hai, wo ye keh rahi hai ke an inspector shall during the course of inspection of an establishment inquire whether any bonded labor system or any other form of forced labor is being continued by or on behalf of the employer within the local limits of his jurisdiction and if as a result of such inquiry any person is found to be continuing the bonded labor system or any other system of forced labor the inspector shall forthwith submit the matter to the authorized officer for such action as may be necessary under the Act. Next provision ye carry hai ke the authorized officer may refer the matter to the District Vigilance Committee for resolution of the dispute or may direct the designated officer or the inspector to lodge a complaint in the Court of Competent Jurisdiction. Now let's move on to discuss section 11 of the Act and the title and the heading is Punishment for Enforcement of Bonded Labor. Whoever, my dear students, after the commencement of this Act compels any person to render any labor, any bonded labor shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than two years nor more than five years or with fine which may extend to 200,000 rupees 
but shall not be less than 50,000 rupees or with both.